half of how much LNG the U.S. exports, the net reductions in emissions from displacing coal would be the equivalent of us taking every single car off the road in Canada. And so not only could we do that, but we'd increase very, very much required uh, taxes and, and royalties. So I do think there's a business case going forward. I do think natural gas is going to be an intrinsic part of the power mix for decades to come until nuclear uh, is able to scale more aggressively. You wrote recently about uh, Canada's LNG um, and the uh, you saw a, a need to, to step up there. Can you tell us a bit more about that? This was after the uh, German Chancellor was in Canada um, and talked about you know interest in, in Canada's LNG, but then we heard from Prime Minister Trudeau talking about how there hasn't really been a business case for exporting it uh, from Canada's East Coast to, to Europe. Right. So I'll, I'll be, be as polite as I can. I would say that our Prime Minister's remarks uh, were the hallmark of energy ignorance. The United States currently is exporting about 12 BCF a day, that's a billion cubic feet. Every one BCF represents about $400 million of lost royalties and taxes every single year. That's about one mid-sized hospital. So we could build 10 hospitals a year if we had uh, you know, picked up the baton. We started, it, it, it took... It will have taken us more time than it took the U.S. to land a man on the moon for us to export our first molecule of LNG. And so, you know, we 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 focus as our government focuses on the oil sands, which represents 0.1 percent of global emissions. 